hey welcome back to the channel so in this video i'm recording this with the gopro hero 9 recording in 5k 24 frames per second just for the hell of it so this video is really not about recommending if you should buy the gopro hero 9 especially now it's like you know september and the gopro hero 10 will most likely be released very soon and so it would be kind of silly of me to recommend the hero 9 but nevertheless I thought I would share some thoughts about the GoPro Hero 9 after having it for almost an entire year now. So as you can see, this is the image quality recording in 5K. I'm shooting in linear mode. I got the whole horizon leveling thing going. So it's always a very stable shot. I think I have boost mode activated actually. And you know, I'm just standing here walking a little bit. Is it a good vlogging camera? I'm not using some attached microphone because you can't actually attach a microphone unless you use the media hub which i haven't purchased because i think that the other quality is pretty good just recording straight to the camera so the thing is i've been using gopro heroes for a long time and you know it's a fun camera to use i still think it's a lot of fun there there's a lot of fun features like i really like the night time lapse mode for example i love the stabilization i like the compact size and the upgrade in the latest gopro is the front facing screen which is really practical especially if you're vlogging or if you want to know if you're in frame so it's perfect for that it is a bit heavier it is a bit bigger but i don't mind it i think this is definitely way better than the gopro hero 7 that i previously own so there's that. I recently made a video where I'm comparing the GoPro Hero 9 with my iPhone 12 Pro and like from a vlogging perspective, like can you get by with a GoPro or should you just use your smartphone? So I think that, you know, with a smartphone you get a little better quality overall, uh, especially with iPhone 12 Pro and especially if when you have something like a super wide angle lens on your smartphone, then you get pretty good image. There is really not that much that the GoPro Hero offers in comparison to smartphones these days, except maybe that incredible image stabilization. It is really, really good. But if you see my comparison video, you'll see that the iPhone 12 Pro is no slouch. My biggest problem with the GoPro and especially the 9 is the low light performance. It's just not very good. Like you can probably see that the image quality here is okay, but it's not very bright today and it is actually affecting the image quality. It doesn't really bother me as long as the audio quality is good enough. Like the one thing that I would like GoPro to add in future versions of the GoPro is the possibility to attach an external microphone directly on the camera. Like I would have to spend something like a hundred bucks just to get that media mod to connect an external microphone i think that's a bit too much really but the thing that i just simply can't escape when it comes to gopro and that is the reason why i will probably get the gopro hero 10 is that it's just so much fun with a gopro i can't really explain it there's maybe something about the commercials that they make they sort of sell the idea that life is an adventure and when you're holding a gopro it just feels fun you know i can't really describe it any better i think maybe it's just fantastic branding sort of like what nike is doing like when you have nike shoes on which incidentally i do i don't know sometimes product make you feel like a different person fashion certainly has that ability certain technical products like the iphone or the samsung they will always have this ability to make some of us feel more exclusive than others it works for some reason and I think that's what the GoPro has been able to do. It makes you feel like you're an adventurer because you have a GoPro. I know it sounds silly, but if you've never held a GoPro in your hands, you just don't know. It's just a lot of fun. Now, the GoPro is expensive and it's not really an all-in-one camera solution, as especially as I mentioned, the low light performance is just not really good. And so if you're really serious about you know video production or vlogging then you should probably get like a mirrorless camera like a sony mirrorless camera maybe something like the sony zv1 but if you want to do some action 
then a GoPro is the right way to do it. Like I've done a lot of fun things with this camera, skiing, diving with it, things that you really can't do with your smartphone or your mirrorless full frame camera. So I think that's where the GoPro really shines. And again, if you have really decent amount of light, then you get pretty good image stabilization and pretty crisp image quality. But the sun is nowhere to be seen. And yet this is what the image looks like. So it's not all that bad. But at this point, I think it's fair to say that you should not get a GoPro Hero 9 unless you get a, like a really good deal. You should check out the GoPro Hero 10 first. When it gets released, I'm gonna give you my opinion, what I think about it, if it's worth the upgrade, if it's worth getting it over the Hero 9. I most likely will get the Hero 10. Okay, that's all I had for today. Hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Take